Hey, Lucas here. Today I want to talk about all of these numbers that diabetics are seeing on a daily basis. So 100, 200 milligrams per deciliter. We know them and understand which one is good, which one is bad, but we don't really understand them in sort of real life terms, in layman's terms. And I think if you have that insight, that will, that will give you a really powerful understanding of how much sugar how much carbs does the body actually need on a daily basis? So let's walk through a simple conversion and see where that leads us. So a typical blood sugar, maybe 100 milligrams per deciliter, right? So what does that actually mean? That means that there is 100 milligrams of sugar in a deciliter of blood. And what is a deciliter of blood? It's a tenth of a liter, right? So if we want to get how much uh, sugar we have in one liter of blood, all we got to do is convert to, to, is to multiply that number by 10. So now we have 100 milligrams per deciliter times 10 gives us 1,000 milligrams per liter. And now 1,000 milligrams is nothing else but a gram. So now we know that we have one gram of glucose, of sugar, per liter of blood. And putting that together, together with this cool fact that the human body is pretty consistent as far as its blood volume goes, and most people will have anywhere from 4.7 to 5 liters of blood. We know that 5 liters times 1 gram, of, gram per liter gives us 5 grams of sugar per body, per all of this. In all of your body, there's only 5 grams of glucose circulating around at any given time. And so how much is 5 grams? That is just a teaspoon of sugar. It's just one single teaspoon. And so now if you go for that breakfast, typical American breakfast with a bagel and eggs, well, guess what? 60 grams of, in that bagel, 60 grams of carbs in that bagel, in the light of 5 grams that's circulating in all of your body, everywhere here, that is a natural disaster. That is a hurricane. And you know what? Just like an insurance ag agency can deal with a hurricane, it's going to handle it, it's prepared for it, it doesn't like it. And if it keeps happening every single day, it's gonna go out of business. And when we're talking about your body, your body's gonna develop diabetes, or it's gonna develop cancer, or it's gonna develop heart disease, or one of those modern diseases that are plaguing us, plaguing us nowadays. So the next time you feel terrible after eating carbs, well, guess what? There's a disa natural disaster happening all inside of you.